there are almost 1 billion people with disabilities in the world. Regardless of culture or religion, this problem may affect everyone. The guest of our reportage, Moshe Kenreich, is a member of the Jewish community in Antwerp. Despite his old age and illness, he does not give up active life and give all his best to his community. He draws his energy from high self-discipline and living in harmony with the holy book, Torah. My name is Maurice Kornreich. Normally it's in Hebrew, it's Moshe Hillel, Moses Hillel, or they call me Maurice. We are five generations in Antwerp. We came in Antwerp in 1870. My great-grandfather came from uh, Vienna, Austria. My roots, what I'm part of is a Jewish community, diamond community, but I'm more or less international because I travel all over the world. Let it be America, let it be Switzerland, let it be India, let it be China, France, all those places. But basically, nobody is, uh, let's say, my home, my roots, my studies, uh, my group but basically is, on, uh, is with uh, my Jewish roots and that, but otherwise clients and everything, I have no Jewish clients. I only have international uh, here, there. We don't, uh, it's not limited. Well, my wife is not around then I'm very able to do a lot, otherwise I'm, I'm disabled. I'm able, I'm very lucky. I have my head, I have my body. I think in consideration I'm not 20 yet. So I still do sports, moving around, working, learning. Uh, social work, I still can many activities, which I'm not limited. Part of my activity is w social work, for my pleasure, eh? Try and get them interested in something, have an ambition in something. It can be movies, it can be sports, it can be finance, it can be politics, or it can be, uh, I'm going to travel, see my children, I'm going to study. And what the big problems I find everywhere, everywhere, is that they're alone and they just, like surrender, okay, we're waiting for, for us to, for the, to die, which is terrible. This is worldwide, huh? When you're older, your life is not over. Go according to it, try and find something, or try helping, or have somebody come and teach me, or give me your experience. Try and get, the, you, people, elder people can help others. And the experience is very valuable. I can't do your life, but I can try and help you. Which is, when I get, I get a satisfaction out of it. I get a satisfaction, but you have to take the, the one who needs help, the one who can give help. Who is happy? The one who can give help. The one who needs help can be in a wheelchair, or in hospital, or his wife, or his child is not well, and that. The one who can help is the lucky man. It's certainly not open, because it's not normal to bring in, in big, big numbers without the structure, which bring in also a lot of people who don't respect the laws with other laws. And also it's very strange, they want to impose their way of lives here. Why? We have our lives, we respect, we have our constitution, we have our laws, we have our customs. Don't come and impose on me what you, what, what you bring in. We're happy to help, to happy to help, but not just open the door and do whatever you feel like. Anti-Semitism is not, no knowledge of what the other, what is the other, who is the other, what, what, are, what according to which laws he go, which respect, why does he do it. Not knowing makes people very aggressive. Knowledge coming together is the answer to not, against all this hate. You know, a few, what was it, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, there was an assistant of Corbyn, you know, in the Labour Party in England, who still said, Jews drink blood. <laughs> the politicians, Jews drink blood. Jews have all the money, Jews this, Jews that. And they go without looking, search, learn. There's something like with a smile. If, very, if you can make somebody smile, it's very important in the Jewish religion to make somebody smile. See him happy makes you happy. I still want to work. I want to make money, but not the same way because I can, for my son, for my grandchildren, I bought a house for my daughter, I want for my grandchildren, for the people around to be able to help. And I, I, I get, I, when you're happy, I get a satisfaction. I, would, because, I mean, 
I can't fleece 10 women at one time. One at, one at a time is very difficult. I can't run as fast as that, but I still do a lot of things. To see my children, my grandchildren, my friends' children, you progress. One day you come, we made a film, we, we, they gave us a huge contract. I'll be, I'll be very happy. This is my participation in life. It's written in the Torah, in our Bible. Who is rich? Definitely, very simple, the one who is happy with what he has. No less, no more.